Hello and welcome to a Digital Media Academy how-to. Drum programming in Logic Pro 9 using Ultrabeat. My name is Tyler Winnick and I'm the lead instructor for digital audio and music courses here at Digital Media Academy. In this how-to, we will cover basic drum programming in Logic Pro using Ultrabeat. Here are the basic system requirements needed to run Logic Pro 9. To purchase your copy of Logic Studio, visit www.apple.com slash Logic Pro. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're in Logic Pro and create a new empty project. All right, then we want to create a software instrument and uncheck open library. We create a software instrument here, and we want to load up the Ultrabeat synth over here in the input section of the channel strip. So Ultrabeat drum synth stereo, bam, here comes the Ultrabeat. Now, let's talk about the interface. Over here on the left, we have our assignment section. This is where all our samples are loaded up, like the kick, rim shot, snare, they're all named here. Then we've got the synthesizer section that allows us to manipulate each one of these sounds. Notice if I select a different sound, the parameters change here in the synth section and I can adjust accordingly. And then down here at the bottom is where I can program patterns or sequences. That's what they're known as, sequences. So if I turn the power on here with this little power button, boop, and then push play, we're able to hear one of the pre-recorded sequences made by Logic producers. All right, now that we've learned the interface, let's jump into playing with some new sounds. The default kit that's loaded up is kind of similar to what's known as an 808 kit, pioneered by Roland back in the day. But we want to load up one of the other presets. Now that happens up here in the default pull-down menu. Come up here to the middle, and there are drum kits of all different genres here. The one that I'm going to choose is the Deep House kit. Bam, right there. Each one of these kits has a bunch of different sounds that are genre specific based on what their names are. So this is going to have a lot of house sounds. And it also has preset patterns that come with it. So here, let's see what we've got. A very housey sounding kit. I just turned down the volume here so you can hear me a little better and hear the, the beats at the same time. That's done up here in the master volume section right here. So let's see what other kind of patterns they've got for us. Those are all located down here in this pattern pull down menu right there. So if I click there, notice we have 11 different patterns because they have the SQ next to their name. So let's see what's up with pattern two. It's pretty cool. Let's see what's going on pattern three. More of a breakdown, that kick drum drops out. This is something you can kind of add in the middle of your song maybe. And then pull it back up to maybe a pattern four. Bring those elements back in with that kick drum going. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Okay, so now that we've explored patterns and sounds in Ultrabeat, let's go ahead and create our own pattern from scratch. Now to do that, we need to go down to the pattern menu and choose the first empty sequence. Now the first empty sequence is number 12 here because there's no SQ next to it standing for sequence. So go ahead and choose number 12. And notice how all my existing patterns and velocities are gone because we're starting from scratch. So now what we want to do is program each sound at a time. You can only program one sound at a time down here. And to choose which sound you're programming, you just got to click it over here. So I'm going to click and select the smooth kick. Sounds like that. And we're going to add it on every downbeat. Now since we're in the time signature of 4-4, four, four, we are basically counting music 1, 2, 3, 4. So in house, we want to add a kick drum on every downbeat. So one way to do it is to go to this trigger note area right here where the numbers are and do one on the 1, the 5, the 9, the 13, the 17, and so on. You add one every 4. So here we go. Sounds something like that. Cool? Now, I don't really like programming this way because it takes a while and you have to, to do things one note at a time. And you have to select the sound over here and then come back down here. It's kind of tedious. So there's a way better way of doing it. It's called the full view. So if I come down here to the right, I can click the full view and I get this grid that allows me to, to enter notes for every single sound all at once. It's way easier and way more fun. So what we want to do is continue to add these kick drums. Now this is kind of tedious even adding them one at a time on the downbeat if I know I'm doing that. So if I click and hold and drag across I can delete them all. I can click and hold and drag across and add kick drums like that too but I don't want to do that. 
what I want to do is right click and choose add every downbeat. Now I have a kick drum on every downbeat. You could also right click on something like the, let's say the open hat. Right click on this and choose add every upbeat. Now I have total house pattern. Okay, you get the picture. You can do so many things in this little grid. I'm going to do some, some snares every other one here so that we get a nice sort of house pattern going. All right, you can kind of get crazy. I like to experiment sometimes and just add notes in here and see what I get. Now, after creating a pattern, you might want to manipulate the sounds a little bit. Maybe something's a little too loud. Maybe you want to turn something up. Maybe you want to move it to the left earphone or to the right earphone, panning it left and right. There's a lot of options you have, and that's over here in the assignment section. You can see here, there's a little there's little volume meters on every sound. So if I play this, I can turn the kick drum up or down. Like for me, that, that open hat's a little monotonous. Maybe I turn it down a little bit, pan it over into the left earphone by dragging down on this little pan knob right there. You see that? All right, I can also solo this just to hear it by itself or mute it to hear the pattern without it. So you know what, maybe I don't like that. If I don't like it, I'll just drag across and add a bunch of them or actually drag across and, and delete them. Okay. All right, so now once you've got this pattern done, you might wanna add it into the logic sequence up here in the, in the arrange window. To do that, you just grab the little pattern little pattern drag button right there is what it's called. See how notice when I hover over it, it says drag to arrange window. So if I click and drag this up into the arrange window, I've actually created now a MIDI region with this same information here. And then I just turn my sequencer off and that's it. So we've only covered a fraction of what Ultrabeat is capable of. To learn more about digital music production, check out the world's best tech camp at www digitalmediaacademy.org